Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that I send you as well as you send me right back. And just to know that we all are resonating with each other and going through this crazy thing called life on our crazy experiences as an empath. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you are comfortable, I mean, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, uh, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes and um, good information you would love to share with another empath as well, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media as well. Uh, favorites wherever you see fit and thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing me so much love and support is so greatly appreciated and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and y'all like I said before I'm um, doing for a few weeks to help my daughter out she only has 24 days left uh, to reach her goal for her her book that she's trying to get out and publish um, it's uh, basically with different poets and different artists you know they they're putting paintings and drawings in her book that she's trying to you know she's collaborated with so many different people and it's such a you know I told her that was such a great idea and she's been working very hard and very you know she's been dedicated for this for a while but if you can stop by her channel and let her know I sent you and if you're able to give a donation it'll all greatly be appreciated so I'll be posting it in the description box below and today my um my uh meditation music is unblock all seven chakras eight hour sleep meditation aura cleansing and balancing chakras and i will post that link also in the description box below today my video is about twin flame 101 twin flames working on their soul mission yes we are we're working on our soul mission it's so beautiful um when we can actually give love towards our twin as well as we're doing towards ourselves because even when you push out love for yourself and being kind and gentle to yourself you're doing the same as well is for your twin flame um being there for them you know it, it can be very hard because our love is like towards the test it's just like a marriage except something higher than a marriage um it proves to them as well as the universe that you're there do sickness health bad do the good um, having patience never giving up and we're we're working on helping humanity as well you know you probably see a lot of numbers come by through your daily basis three 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 thirteen seven one seven um i was reading up so many things they say like seven one seven is like the sexual union or the lovers like tarot card uh love union uh three is like let me see what they say it's like the the holy trinity uh 13 it has something to do with mary mag mary magdalene and fatima uh is like uh because i remember i talked about that with the akashic Re records one time just getting to know your past you know um a lot of us has been going through some really crazy awakenings like with me it was very shocking for me when i had to find out i was an actual twin flame after my dad died you know it had to take that big impact for me to find that out and it was very hurtful but then when I look at it in a different way, my dad has helped me achieve a lot of things. I didn't feel like I was going to be able to. And it's just like he has sent me songs that towards my way that I was there for him. And I didn't even know it. So it, it's just been a beautiful blessing to be able to do that. And, you know, while we're working on our soul mission, we're bettering ourselves to be a better person. Um, we're not looking towards our twin flame to fulfill happiness inside of ourselves. We're doing that on our own. Even though there's times that they will run to our rescue, but you have to be able to do that on your own. You know, not being so selfish and taking things from them and not being able to give them back. You know, because I mean, it's a it's a different thing for everybody. You know, if you're trying to figure out how the twin flame, you know, uh, connection works, 
it's just like well, we're there for each other metaphysically we you know we have daydreams about reconnecting with them in a physical sense we're already in oneness together because you are them and they are you but it's just like you know them helping you make yourself a better person you're taking the things that no longer serve you out of your life the things that are toxic um you're getting away from the you know public circle that is not um on the same level as you you're grabbing toward gravitating towards people that are on that spiritual level the same as you um we're helping others in humanity which is very beautiful you know and it's just like you know when you're heading towards that path because you'll start seeing all the synchronicities the numbers things that kind of collate i think that's the word i'm trying to use <laughs> collate uh you know just basically going aside with the twin flame situation you know, there's like books that you can come across, movies you can come across. I said one a good friend of mine brought attention to me about the movie Twilight. I never thought about Twilight being like a twin flame movie because it's so deep, you know, and I was just like, wow, you know, that was one of my favorite movies. I had the whole Twilight saga and can watch it anytime. I mean, you know, I watch it a lot as well as the books as well. So it's just like when we're working on this, it is so beautiful. And, you know, even though it can be traumatizing at times and trying, you know, um, when you let the universe see that you're working hard for this, you're not giving up, you know, you really want this union. Um, if it wasn't, you know, don't be discouraged because if you have not went into physical union yet, because if you're still having that situation where you cannot stop thinking about your twin flame even if you try to say you know i'm being very obsessive let me just put my mind on something else so i don't get frustrated and it always seems to come back anytime it goes like that where you can't even go a second without having something like mirror that to you either it's a special number a certain phrase um something that comes in your life that instantly reminds you of them it's meant to be it really is you just have to be able to wait for it you know sometimes you might get they say what is it false flags false fa uh, false flags that you might get when you think it's going to be a union but it's actually when you keep getting those situations from what they read uh wrote when you have situations like that and you get those visions it's like you already have had that union it's just up in a higher realm you have and just haven't caught up with you down here in 3d uh, dimension so you have to keep working for that and you just like the more and more that you have those uh, visions of seeing you guys together into one is very beautiful. It can be very emotional. You know, you get those little bursts of excitement. You have these daydreams, you seeing them together if you're knowing who your twin flame is. You know, there's some people are starting to go through that situation where they're starting to find out there's parts of me have been missing. I've been looking for something, but I just don't know what it's, what it's about. That lets you know that you are a twin flame you're just trying to find out who that twin flame is towards you so when you're working on yourself being happy not too busy worrying about the union the physical union because you you already did it in the 5d world or the higher realm you already have but it just needs to go ahead and come down uh into the three 3d physical so you're just waiting on that but like i said don't sit there and wait for it go ahead and work on yourself better yourself knowing that you you see love within everybody no matter if it's like you've had a good experience with a person or a bad experience with a person knowing there's everything that happens for a reason you know you have to be able to forgive others and send out love and light you know things that no longer serve you you have to let it go with love um and you know it took me a while to have to not have hatred for my family uh from all the situations that i've been in but it's just like i love them from afar or half the time i can't even say i love them i just don't give them any kind of energy <laughs> you know i say i just forgive them and going about my business um but i don't wish any harm on them i really don't um i just love them from afar and i don't know why i keep saying love them from afar but i'm just like Ugh. It's hard to love anybody like that you know but i just send out you know i just pray for them that's all i can really do is pray for them but it, it's just like you have to go through life and you have to make sure you know there's days that i, I miss my dad terribly um even though like i've told y'all before uh when he when he's trying to reassure me that everything's going to be okay i don't know what's going on from a daily basis you know i know we're getting closer together with him being in the spiritual realm and i'm being here in the physical um we're going towards that one and that's a true blessing because it's like there's days i you know i tell him thank you because there's 
I never really know how I was going to make it without him really being here. So, um, it's just, I'm glad I just have pictures and videos and stuff like that, that I can just reminisce off of and just know, hey, you know, even though I didn't get to see him in the physical world, at least I have all these things that God has blessed me with to be able to watch him. So, you know, knowing that you're working on your soul mission, you're bettering yourself to be that best version of yourself, knowing you're working diligently, hard towards your reunion, know it is truly coming. If you know that you're starting to have visions of seeing you guys together, seeing certain things that you're doing, and knowing there are certain things that you're doing that you have not done yet, you know your union's on its way. You've been getting synchronicities and number signs throughout the place. So, um, I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video. Much love and light to everyone. I'm giving my post notification shout out to Michelle Olson, Lewis Johnson, and Michael Groves. Much love and blessings to you all. Uh, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. Send out as much love and, pos love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'm sending uplifting vibes, loving vibes, and comforting vibes, especially to whoever needs them. And I will see you on my next video. Be safe, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line, and please share a video if you, you feel free to feel like somebody else needs to hear it, it'll greatly be appreciated. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace and be wild.